crazy street art. Whoa, that's so trippy. That kind of made my brain hurt. Honestly, that's kind of scary. Oh, he like jumped over the fake bucket too. Honestly, I would have been scared. I would have been like, am I going to fall? Whoa. Whoa, I thought he was going to go through the wall. You know what I mean? Like properly and then he didn't. Okay, never mind the illusion. This was like a creepy place to be. Those dolls. Not it down. We can admit this person's talented, but I'm not sure I would want to live in a building with a giant woman on the side. Like, I'm small enough as it is. I don't need to be reminded of that. Okay, it's, it's pretty sick. Oh, it looks fake from this angle, but I bet when we get closer, it's gonna look real. And I don't really want it to look real because that looks like a bug. Bug in a faucet. Who came up with that? Okay, how is this even 2D? We need a person to walk through this to get a sense of scale. This is so legit. How do people like this exist? Whoa. Whoa, cool. I feel like this one's set up to be epic with the fire around him, but he has such like a normal face. Like he kind of looks like an accountant named like Winston, you know? Ooh, and you keep going. Oh, and then there's water. Even the poles have been painted. The dedication. So cool. And then is there going to be like earth on the other side? Oh, we're going to wait to the nose to line up and it lines up perfectly. You move a little, it's a little broken. Now let me tell you what a dark, dingy parking garage needs on the walls. This is exactly what it needs because, you know, it's not creepy enough as it is. Now we need a giant, realistic looking fly. Whoa, it actually looks pretty real. How do people do these things? I'm so impressed. So cool. So much talent. Such wow. Oh, we got some more bugs. What is up with people trying to scare us? This place already looks creepy enough as it is. Like, what about a nice unicorn party against a backdrop of rainbows? Oh no, the glistening? It makes it look so real. Imagine just spiders are this big what would you even do i wouldn't know how to act i think i would never leave the house ever whoa so cool i wonder if she takes requests i love how like the art is encompassing the windows as part of the art it's pretty sick did like the building pay for this to be done or did they just wake up and somebody had like vandalized the side of their house and they're like you know what it actually looks pretty good we'll just keep it there now this is some chill mural art it's a philosopher with his head opened up sick honestly what leads people to do this this is in like a small close-up alley no one would even see your art i wonder if the people who are painting these are also painting the inside of their homes like this. They just want the world to enjoy it. They don't care if anybody knows it's them. They don't care if anybody sees it. It's just there. But then how do you even protect your art? What if somebody comes and graffitis all over your art and you spend all that time and it's gone and ruined? Oh, that's nice. It's so bright and colorful and vibrant. Honestly, I need this. Where? There or dare or everywhere. Who are these people? Can you come paint my walls? I'd be like, I want to redecorate. Interior designers be like, like an accent wall or a subtle pop of color. Well, subtle is an interesting word you use there. Very interesting. I'm not exactly subtle. This is kind of scary, actually. I take it back. I'd feel like every time I go up the stairs, I'd be being eaten by these monsters. Maybe that's the point. Okay, she's, she's going into the skull. Wait, what? Oh, she went into the nose? I don't get it. I'm trying to understand like how this building is laid out. Is it even a building? Is that just a wall? Oh, it's just like a little L-shaped wall. Do you see it if you look close? Oh, wait, what? There's a pillar there? This is messing with my brain. Mind blown. Oh, so cool. Okay, now we gotta see how it was done. Still don't get it. Still confused. Aww. If I came across this, I'd probably spend like 30 minutes trying to free the puppy. He's just so cute. He looks so real. Guys, I love dogs. Oh, I just want them all. Just want to pet them. It's really hard lately because like, I feel like people don't want me touching their dogs because of the whole thing that's happened in the world. But then I feel like the dogs are sad. They're like, why do humans not touch us anymore? Oh. Now this is some dedication. He's painting on a little raft. Risking it all. Also picture this guy. The tie comes up and it looks like the painting he's painting is a lady drowning. Do we have any other pitches for like what could go there? I do not. Like look, this looks scary. How is he doing that? Also I'm scared for her even though I know she's just a drawing. That could be him if he's not careful. Could be some foreshadowing. Dark. Real dark. It's just like, but why? Oh, oh, there he goes again. This one's even more dangerous. Literally risking it all. He's just tied by a surfboard. You know how unstable those things are? You just fall into the water. Down the waterfall he goes. Lose his paintbrush. I think I feel like that's the least of his worries. So close to the edge. Whoa. Dude. Gotta be more careful. Oh, those literally look like real balloons. How they got the depth right is beyond me. Look at that. You know those letter balloons look so real. Oh, that's just rude. Like the amount of talent this person has and the amount that I don't have is, is a little rude, honestly. But like you do you. I'll just sit here and cry. Ooh, it's like a sneak peek into the building. I like this. This is clever. Do you think that's like what's actually inside the building? Probably not. But that'd be really funny. It'd be sick if like your house was on the outside of the building. Actually, that would kind of suck because everybody would know what was inside your house. It'd be great for robbers though. This is like hole in the ground section. It's amazing how they match the walls so perfectly. 
perfectly in the painting. It's like the room, inside the room, inside the room. So you know how people use the word inception because of the movie and it was like a dream inside of a dream? But like really inception means the beginning of something, if I'm correct. So I'm very confused about that. I still use it though, because I like how it sounds. Okay, it's so hard to trick my brain into seeing this as a 2D object. Like I physically can't. The kid's pose is not helping. I can't. I just feel like he's gonna fall any second. That wood looks super wobbly, not safe at all. And like, I'm a pretty reckless person and I, I, I don't even want to stand on that painting. What if it just turned real any second? What if it's so real looking that it turns real? Not creepy at all. He's just always watching. Ooh. I literally have no idea where this painting starts and ends. Like, what about the car in the middle of it? Is that a painting or is that a car? Like, wh what's real anymore? What about this pothole? Is that real? Or is that a painting? Will I ever know? What if this whole thing is a painting? What even is reality anymore? Are those people part of the painting? Get the raft? Here's what's happening to me right now. A lot. This little crocodile alligator situation we got at the bottom, I know he fake, okay? I know that for a fact. The water, fake. The raft looks fake. But then the person on the raft looks real. But then the thing he's holding looks fake. How would he be holding the painting? Isn't that so trippy? What? Ah, he's spraying the fly. I'd also like to see the fly swatter that did this to the bug. That bug has seen better days. The spray can looks fake, but then the person holding it looks real. Is he just holding his hand there? My mind. <laughs> this one is great. He matched himself. Was he the original artist or did he just dress up like the subject of the painting? Honestly, we'll never know. Did he paint himself? Did somebody paint him? How long has he been posing for? This dude over here looks super confused. Are you guys ready for this? That basketball is not real. I repeat, it is is not real. not real. Think about how many cars stop suddenly in the middle of the street thinking it's a real basketball because they don't want to hit it. What a prank. Probably a little dangerous, but like... That's prank life for you. Oh, he's so cute. Is the kid gonna put the carrot on his nose? But wait, is the kid fake too? Also, this is the first snowman I've ever seen reading the paper. Honestly, dude, good luck trying to open that bottle with that opener. They're not the same size. Have you guys ever done that trick where you try to pop it off with the rock? The only time I've tried, the whole thing shattered. It was, it was not a good time. And never tried that again. Now this one's dark. I don't think he's gonna be in great condition after that fall. I hope it's at least promoting like work play safety. There's a silver lining to every cloud, right? Is he just shoveling dirt into the latte? Maybe he's making latte art. This one feels pretty random to be in the middle of a brick street, but I'm here for it. Honestly, there's not much room in this pool. She's kind of taking more space than she needs. The giant lost saved my baby. <gasps> okay, so whoever did this is a bad parent. Not just for the psychological drama that you cause to your kid, but you know, just lying it on the dirty ground. Parent fail. Unless that kid is fake. The kid could totally be fake and this is not a parenting fail. Now I don't even know. Look at the feet. The feet look fake. Hella confused. <laughs> I love when it's like art, but then there's a performance aspect to it. Art on two levels. Has anyone ever found anything of value with a metal detector? I feel like they're just like selling false hope. Ooh, I guess he found something of value. The gold seriously multiplied from the last image. I wonder how long it took him to draw this too. You think people were just there the whole day watching? Or did they carry on with their lives? Okay, this one's kind of weird. Is this just an ad for Mountain Dew? Like the robots have taken over the city? Their mission, supply everything everyone with the do. Okay, this one I know isn't real because why would Robin be there with Batman? This is kind of a one man job. You're just creating double the work for Batman. You're literally saving one person. We don't need both of them. Teamwork does make the dream work, but sometimes it's like, you know, when there's too many chefs in the kitchen. Honestly, I'll never look at a tiger human interaction the same again after Tiger King. I just can't with this one. Carol Baskin do it. Let me know in the comments. Okay, let me see if I got this one right. A huge moist mouth. Ew, hate the word moist. It's swallowing a pill that represents recycling? I, I don't understand. Am I missing something here? Okay, wait, wait, wait. How is this a painting if he's hovering in the air? My brain is gonna need like an hour break after looking at all these. This one is the trippiest. I mean, it clearly looks like a painting, but then how is he on top of it? Oh, is it like a random ledge? And then there's a shadow there. Ooh, it literally hurts. Just a typical cobblestone bike path past alligators, parrots, monkeys, and cheetahs. Whoa, okay, this one's trippy. I wonder if like looking down, you would get dizzy. Oh, but I guess from her angle, it wouldn't look real because it's all about perspective. My favorite part about this one though is how that car in the corner would make no sense with what's below it. It totally messes with your head. See this one? Like why would this car be up here? Okay, this one's really creepy. I don't like this one at all. This man must really love mustard. <laughs> like to make a giant thing of mustard and then sit on it. I wish someone loved me that much. <gasps> Oh no, okay, this one, this one, oh no, this one just like, oh, I can't, it's so scary. Okay, imagine walking at night through this tunnel, so scary. <laughs> He's pickpocketing the guy, that's pretty 
pretty funny. But why would a king need a few extra bucks? I guess maybe that's why he's so rich. He's been in the game a long time. Oh, that's pretty clever. The planes are like breaking through the ground and coming up towards us. That'd be scary. Imagine there's a whole world underneath us. Ooh. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye-bye.